What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? It's Rod on the Road, signing on. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's doing good and great out there. Yeah, we are uh, on the highway. Well, went to a uh, road riding through this town, uh, I think in northern Arkansas. Um, small town population, I don't know, maybe 60,000 or something like that. But, uh, decided to pull over at a Walmart that was right off the highway and uh, it seemed to be a pretty nice Walmart no signs up saying over, no overnights and um, it had gotten pretty late and I was getting tired so I just pulled over and grabbed a Redbox DVD and you know I hadn't really dealt with Redbox in a long time um, not because I didn't want to just because uh, I just they didn't have a DVD player, I didn't have power, you know, for the deep cycle battery and all that kind of stuff. So I um, I really did not, I really didn't, just didn't get one. Just didn't get a, just did, just hadn't been renting them. I'm gonna go inside right now. Uh, last night I had one malfunction, and that was the. Let me show it to you. It was the 300 watt power inverter. It didn't really hold up to, you know, well, it held up when I was running the television and the fan and the little free TV thing, which never works because I'm never around a signal. You know, well, every now and then I am, but not often. So DVD players are, DVD players would be a best friend on something like that but the malfunction was this and like I said I just kind of threw this together it was a uh, thing from Harbor Freight it is converted to DC it, it hooked the power inverter the power inverter had this the power inverter had this in it so I just plugged them together it was a power inverter that had the this end and the little adapter that plugged directly to the battery terminals had this in and it kept bagging off and it would shut everything down so I just spliced them and it was like in the middle of the night and I hardwired them together and that worked but then um, it was two problems this kept putting the loose and the overload with the fan running it would overload and trip the default and so uh, it was pretty cool last night so I just decided not to use the fan and watch the Deadpool um, got it out of the Walmart right there. I didn't even know they had one up to 150 a day. I don't think they used to be 150 a day the last time I, I used one, uh, the Red Box. But I like watching fresh movies. You know, I don't I don't carry DVDs with me because there are Red Boxes everywhere. Um, I got a few favorites, but I just don't. I don't I don't, I don't bring them with me. I just keep them uh, at, a, at a friend's place. I have a lot of them too, and I've given I've given a lot of them away because, like I said, I, when I get a DVD, I watch it once, and I'm I don't watch it anymore. It's kind of weird. I'm kind of weird like that. But that was the malfunction. So, you know, if you dealing with electricity, you want to you want to have uh, good electrical tape. You want to have a nice, uh, clean, nice box cutter or some type of sharp fixed blade knife uh, or a folding knife. Don't it's just an edge edge tool to splice, and you know you gotta. I'm not gonna show, demonstrate how to do splicing, but you gotta make sure it's real good and right. And I did a lot of splicing, so it was pretty good. Uh, so I just know that I need a, a bigger, uh, I need to upgrade on the inverter. So, you know, I figured just go ahead and get like a thousand water or something like that, because you never know, you know, I never anticipated I'd be running this much plugs. I got a seven prong, a seven outlet, uh, power strip and then every single outlet was full now I have two of those and the one is in the back but I'm gonna move it up front because you know if it had I had company or something like I said uh, my my co-pilot is in there but like two or three people traveling at one time man just can imagine all the plugs that be plugged up so my co-pilot is asleep you know, I will take a peek at it in a minute but that's it for that. Let me see. I had another 
Yeah, I had one more thing to discuss. Isn't it beautiful, y'all? I know it's about 70 degrees. The highway is right there. And the Walmart's right here on the like a, I think this is a service road. And that's a 24-hour Taco Bell KFC. And that's a little tiny little Walmart. It's a small Walmart. On the on the GPS, on the uh, Google Maps, it says that it's a, a super center, but it's so small. It's actually two of them. It's one like a few. Not even two or three. It's not far at all from here, like five minutes. So they they built them pretty tight together around here. I'm going to show. And as you can see, the setup in here, again, just that's the television. It's kind of junky, but you know how that is. So I'm going to show this other setup I got. Some a little tip, a little thing I was working on yesterday. If you give me just one second, I'll show you. Okay, I'm back. Hope I wasn't gone too long. I had to fix my plates, you know, I don't show them because you never know who's... Oh, I don't really know what they can do with those. I just know everybody hides the plates, so I don't want to be different and not hide, man. I don't know, you could have some kind of haters or something out there that want to, like, cause harm to your name some type of way or whatever they do. I, I don't know. But, hey, you know what? That's a good question. Anybody know what they do when you... Why people do that? Let me know. I do it. I really don't know why. But anybody out there, let me know. It can reveal personal information, I guess. But anyway, um, back to what I was trying to say. This lock, hopefully y'all can see this. I'm going to get in closer. This is my spare tire. And I had concerns with my spare tire about, uh, about it being stolen or something of that nature. Because I know people are stealing that. Go so many places that I don't know the aerials, the crime statistics, I just have to go on looks. I don't really pull up, unless I'm going to be there over a few days, I don't really pull up, the, the, you know, that'd be impossible to pull up every statistic every, everywhere you overnight. So, I just kind of, you know, I just try to keep things, you know, bolted down and, and, and locked down to the best of my ability, you know, because you have questionable people around, you know, uh, drug addicts and stuff like that looking to make a quick buck. And I'm going to have a brand new tire on here sooner or later, so... You know, I went ahead and got like a chain. This is a quick fix, very inexpensive to secure your spare tire to your vehicle if you don't have one of them locking covers, which I did, which I took off because it was so difficult to get back on. And I knew that if I ever had a flat, it would just like stress me out dealing with that big cumbersome thing. So I'm just going to go with a, one of those vinyl covers when I do get my, my new tire. So this is it's just basically, and these little grasshoppers are everywhere. They're inside the van too. This is just a chain. This chain fits directly through this slot. See those slots? It fits through those slots. Then you just take the chain and you lock it in. This chain, this lock came from Dollar Tree. I know I could get a better lock and I might, but I just wanted to do something. So, and this chain, Home Depot, three bucks, four bucks. It's three feet chain, lock, Dollar Tree. Or you can get your master lock or whatever you want to do. And this right here, chain is going down. And you can't see it, but it's, it's chained around. It's chained right in there under the bumper with another lock on this metal brace. And that's pretty much it. Now, in all, I spent about, in all, I spent about six, seven bucks. And uh, don't worry about the spare t the tire so much anymore because you can't stop the real deals from stealing from you. But you can stop the would-be uh, a drug addict or would-be in, in, in a person that would want to take that from you in the middle of the night or when you're in Walmart or when you're wherever you're at. You know, if you're working in a city somewhere, you know, you're going to come out and you still got Because, you know, tires get expensive, you know, especially if you had a brand new one on there, you know. Um, you just prevent that. Now, another thing I recommend is lug locks. You know, I'm just like this, you know, you know, because I, you know, 
feel it when you're going in the cities. Uh, just anywhere. You never know. You ain't going to see it coming. But trust me. Trust me that it does happen. If it, if it ain't happening to you, it does happen. Don't live in fear. But these simple steps you can take can maybe discourage somebody with a screwdriver or just a lug wrench, you know. He'd have to have some bolt cutters and hopefully they don't have that, you know. And if they do, you can't stop them anyway. Now that they got that with those. And they make good bolt, they make bolt cutters to cut almost any lock. So, that's my tip on that. You know, I'm always trying to be affordable. So, inexpensive, secure way to secure your spare tire. There it is. Right there. So, that's pretty much it right now. I'm going to go and, uh, I'm going to go grab some breakfast. Oh, yeah, don't forget, the T-shirts, Rod on the Road. Go and pick you up a T-shirt. Grab your T-shirt. The link will be in the description. As you can see, that's me. And God bless America right there. These shirts are great. Cotton, they feel great. And this one feels good on me. Uh, price 17 bucks on the, web, uh, on the website. Uh, pick you one up. And you'll be supporting Rod on the Road and the stuff we do out here and i would greatly appreciate it everybody that you know watches the channel everybody that uh, purchases a t-shirt and everybody that you know buys me lunch i really appreciate all of that and you know all the help you know it's necessary you know it helps out a great bit great deal and uh, i just appreciate it your support and like i said the link will be in the description and i'm gonna get out of here be ready to, uh, I don't think I'm going to go back in Walmart, there's a McDonald's at another Walmart a few, uh, few miles down, according to my GPS, so, we're going to do that, it's early morning here, and it feels great out, wow, and I'm going to do a little research on uh, bigger inverters, and everything else is working good, and I want to thank everybody that watches the people international people the people in the states i just want to say i appreciate everybody for this ride on the road signing off god bless america god bless america y'all stay safe out there and don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you later youtube peace